Images of devastation, but viewed from a rather unusual angle. An amateur cameraman has been shooting video in the aftermath of the disaster, all taken from the vantage point of his paraglider. His images document the destruction and the rebuilding of his hometown. Sparkling ocean and white sand beaches. This video, shot two years ago, shows the peaceful coastline of Iwaki, Fukushima Prefecture. Before last year's quake and tsunami, scenes like this were common among the quiet, secluded beaches in this area. The man in the flying machine is Eiji Sakai, who runs a local auto repair shop. He first began taking videos from his paraglider 18 years ago to capture the beauty of this coastline from the sky. On the day of the disaster, he took this video from a car. The earthquake and tsunami left 310 people in Iwaki dead. The crisis at the nuclear plant forced Sakai and his family to move to another prefecture. He returned to Iwaki at the end of March, but didn't feel like taking his aerial videos for a while. When there were still people out searching for friends and relatives, I felt it was insensitive to fly around in my paraglider. Eventually, he did start shooting videos again in April. He found his hometown barely recognizable. There were no signs of life to be seen. It was such a shock. Looking down, I could hardly see anything through my tears. Iwaki has a lighthouse that's a local landmark. The quake cracked the cliff it stands on, destroying the path to it. The tower was damaged too and knocked out of commission. Sakai realized that his videos taken from the sky were a valuable record of what had happened. When you're trying to move forward, it can be bad to look behind you. But sometimes it's important to stop and take a look back so you can close that chapter and take the next step. I hope my videos will serve as a record of what happened here. Sakai has gone out taking videos every month since then. He says he started seeing some changes from last autumn. This district sustained a lot of damage. But temporary shops were built on the grounds of a school. And people even put up a makeshift ring for wrestling events. Coastal areas were deserted for months. But now, they've come back to life. Sakai has returned to the damaged lighthouse many times, especially since it was repaired and put back into operation. Seeing the beam from the lighthouse stretching out so far, it really felt like a symbol of hope, a sign that the coast of Iwaki is finally coming back to life. It was very moving, and it inspired me to keep going. On the morning of New Year's Day, Sakai went up to take his first video of the year. People who had gathered to watch the sunrise waved to him, just like before the disaster. From above, people look so tiny. Even a thousand people seem like a small group. But when we put our minds to it, we can clean up all the wreckage and rebuild the shops. It's all thanks to people power. Sakai has been showing people in the area his videos to inspire them. They are a record of people's resilience and strength as they work to rebuild their hometown.